This is the 906 starting time. LPGA winner and three time Symmetra Tour winner from Encoping, Sweden. Please welcome Madeline Sagstrom. Madeline Sagstrom is a brave woman. She's a courageous woman. She's an inspirational woman. And, you know, I, I, I already thought Madeline was extremely well-spoken, you know, a, a, a deep thinker, just by the way she answers questions in, in general. Pill lie, a little uphill lie makes a shot so much easier, but it's the shortest bunker shot you'll ever have. Oh, wow! <laughs> she needed that, boy did she need that. Are you gonna ask me about last year at the Game Bridge? Oh, yes, great Yeah. Game. Did she get it? She did. It's right in the heart. Way over on the right, as we showed you. The NASA hit one in the middle of the green. It was far away from going in. And she has an older guy in her bag. <laughs> it's like, who's this dude, you know? Oh, oh, yeah, so my regular caddy couldn't come. So my boyfriend's father, who, you know, just retired and is on vacation, you know, is filling in. And, and, and it looks like... NASA's gonna probably wrap this up. Much to everyone's shock, NASA no! three putts. And Madeline Sackstrom has her first LPGA Tour title. And all this emotion, you know, is flooding over her face. Uh, you know, Alan promptly retires, never to caddy again. You know, it was just fantastic. Jack's crying, you know, it was... I mean, it was, it was one of those storybook things that was so much fun. And she said in her press conference, I had already won in my head today. Not winning the tournament, but I had beaten my own demons and just doing my, making myself proud. And I was like, wow, I didn't really know what that meant. <laughs> but, but it was like, wow, that's something, you know, this, this girl's tough. And, and she was shaking physically, but mentally, you know, she was so tough. And now I can appreciate the scope of what that meant. It is Monday, the 22nd of February. It's Gamebridge LPGA week, which I am defending champion, and I'm clearly not on site. I am in the UK. Not the preparation I would have wanted, so I'm currently in my boyfriend's studio in his backyard. Uh, it's phenomenal to have a spot like this, but I wish I was outside on grass. So I'm going to make the best preparations I possibly can. And next week I'm just going to have to go with my experience and just love, loving being outside again and playing golf. I believe it was Tuesday evening when she finally got in. Uh, her boyfriend, Jack, who, who caddies out here for Caroline Headwall, of course, was already here. Uh, and, and her caddy was already here. Madeline's actual caddy was already here as well and, of course, could scout everything for her. She lives in Orlando, so it's not like it's foreign, but this isn't her home course. So not the ideal way to come in as defending champion, you know, rushed you know, stressed out, and, and, and oh, by the way, you've just told your deepest, darkest secret to the world. I remember sitting in a hotel room and I couldn't stop crying. I was so focused on preparing for the upcoming season, but I felt like I couldn't keep the secret inside of me anymore. I was by myself when I was going over to see my friend a man that I'm, I was really close to. And it was one of those things to just like come in, hang out, nothing weird, nothing wrong. And um, he ended up sexually abusing me um, 
I went home and I acted like nothing ever happened for 16 years. I think the biggest reason why I didn't tell anybody, I think mostly shame. I didn't appreciate mentally how strong she is until she explained more of how her abuse had impacted her on the golf course in terms of not being able to maybe control her emotions or thinking the world was gonna end you know, after a bad round um, because she put all of her focus on golf and that's how she defined whether or not she'd been a good person. I'm, I'm amazed at at how quickly she was able to turn so that around. Fun. In her rookie season on the Symmetra Tour, Sagstrom set a record for single season earnings and secured her LPGA Tour card. It's part of the thing that people don't see about my career. I had a really good 2016 because I wasn't hiding anymore. You know, and, she, and I knew she had turned a corner, but a lot of times you players say that, but you. You don't really know what that means, and, and, and maybe they're not ready to tell you what that means. So when you, when you get the full story and you understand how that season came about and how that led her to this moment and where she is now, and it, it's, you know, it's, it, it makes so much more sense. That season on the Symmetra Tour was remarkable now on a whole other level. Let me have you start with uh, your name and occupation. So, Shane Codd, and I'm a professional caddy, believe it or not. How long have you been a professional caddy? 18 years. I get less for murder. Uh, how long have you and Madeline been working together? Uh, one week. This is our second week this week, and she's not even here yet. So I'm at the airport. Um, finally got my passport back. But it's the creepiest thing to travel nowadays because it's literally, there's nobody here. It's like ghost town. I like everything written down. I like to know about the player, what they like, what they don't like, before I start working with them. I got all of that information and then I feel, I felt like I knew her before I met her, if you know what I mean. So Madeline isn't getting in until Tuesday night. What are your feelings about this week? You know what? I think it can be, it, some, sometimes it can be a good thing because your expectations are a little bit lower. Okay. And like the yardage book these days is, you could literally turn up here on Thursday without seeing the golf course and play it. We'll, we'll get nine holes in the Pro-Am tomorrow. We might walk the other nine together. If not, you just gotta trust me. I have no worries about it. I, I, I trust her ability, so that's all that matters. As long as he can just trust her own when it comes to teeing it up on Thursday, we'll be good. Here are me and all my friends on my row. I'm excited to go back. I'm excited to play. Feeling this tremendous gratitude for golf right now and just enjoying my job. I can't wait. I like to pick lines off the tee for her. Um, you know, to what she likes. Pick where we need to be on the fairway, where, we're, where we don't need to be. It's trying to build a game plan up to suit Madeline's strengths. Well, definitely her length is w one of her strengths, but to me, studying her stats before I spoke to her about taking the job, like, she's, she's a great putter. You know, if you can, you can put her here, you're, you're gonna do well. She doesn't like to get between 30 and 50, she's not comfortable with. Okay. So we try and stay away from them numbers if we can. Every day is different when you warm up. Some days you might be feeling it, other days you're not. It, it changes every day as well, because we go out and warm up in the morning on the range and she's not feeling like it's going well today. You know, we take five off it. Or, you know, if you get near the end of a round and you're six or seven under for the day, your adrenaline is pumping. The club is going to, the ball is going to go further. I write all them things down in my book because you can't remember everything. I like to write everything down. I write, I write a lot of things down. It's nice to go back and look back on a hole where the wind was blowing the same direction two days earlier. You might have had a similar yardage. You can see what we hit. I like to write down where it landed, how far it released, 
and then we can, you know, we've we've reference to work off of then. Is that your handwriting? That's my handwriting. That's unbelievable. Not my daughter's. <laughs> so this is 258 from the tee box, and it gives us 111 then to the front of the green. We can probably go as far as the next sprinkler up here, which is 270 off the tee, which today with this wind in her back, mm -hmm is where she's going to be. So like for that pin today, you can see it back left there. We're going to hit it in probably five yards right of it. We get the pin positions the night before. Okay. We mark them in our book and then we sit down at breakfast in the morning and we put a circle in the book of where we would like to be for that pin position. If we get to a day that we can go for it, it's still going to take a good second shot to get under. Right. Well, obviously, your bailout area is to your left. All I can do is tell her, she has to do <laughs> the rest then. <laughs> tomorrow and to prepare as well as I can for the tournament. So you just do the normal? Yeah. The normal shot of coffee. Gotcha. Let me try and see that to be fair. <laughs> It's a bit messy up here. I have my stash in the looking at that room right there. <laughs> there we go. I travel with six pairs of sunglasses. This helps me visually to look at what I have. I think I'm gonna go for these ones today. I would say this is a quite light golf uh, closet, but I haven't even gotten the clothes for this year yet, so this will tremendously extend to the whole row. And this is like, I don't even wear this, especially not this year, because we don't do anything. Do anything. <laughs> and this more, mostly like, I have pro-am clothes, like pro-am party clothes when we have to look somewhat nice. And then bum clothes. So I do have, this. I mean, this is a, I as much golf stuff as I have. I have one set of irons, I have one set of irons downstairs. Oh, the, 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 the thing I do have is all of Great. Anthony's wedges, because this is cool. Swedish flags. Hiking ones. Uh, this is some of the first stuff I think he did for me. Okay, let's bounce. And also, heads up, I haven't been driving a car for a month. Just heads up. When's the last time you've played a full round of golf? Uh, it was Sunday of Diamond. <laughs> yeah, Sunday of Diamond was the last time I hit. Not golf balls outside, but the last time I really saw the ball kind of land. It's been quite, quite a month. How's it going? Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah, they're pretty trusting with you. Yeah. I look so professional, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm late. I feel like I'm like that five minutes late again. I was telling uh, Jack this morning, I was like, I can't believe I'm actually playing a golf tournament tomorrow. Um, I'm one of these people that I want to do everything perfect, uh, which I know is impossible, but I really wish I could. So when something like this happened, it's all, it stressed me a lot. It, it, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's been very stressful the last few weeks, but I'm learning to just go with it. We'll be all right, it'll be all right. Oh, thank you. Oh. Thank you. You're not allowed to watch me do okay. testing. Okay. testing. Good. Sorry. <laughs> it's like the best Q-tip I've ever had. It was thicker. <laughs> it was like you're no, it was better. 
cute little room. Ooh. Hold on, let me take those off. So the other thing that was released this week was your drive on segment um, that I know was probably years in the making. I have to imagine, you know, there's a little bit of nerves maybe seeing people since that's been released. I, you know, it was widely shared Monday. It's actually nice to not be on site when that was aired because it's one of those things that really shock people, I think, and people don't know how to react. It's such a big part of my life and who I am that sometimes I forget about it. You know, like I saw somebody yesterday and they were like, I just want to give you a hug. And I was like, for what? And I was like, oh, right. Oh, sorry. I did. I did just post that. Good morning. Sir. Good morning. I'm good. I'm a little bit stressed at the moment, but I'm gonna take a deep breath and and survive. I, I've worked so hard on not letting it define me. Just because somebody else puts a label on you doesn't mean that that's all you are. Like you're so much more than just your stories and your the things you go through in life. All right, everyone, thank you and welcome inside here at the Gamebridge LPGA Virtual Media Center. We are here with defending champion Madeline Sagstrom. But before we get this started, as you see, Mike Juan is on the call and he had a couple things he'd like to say to you, Madeline. Thank you. Well, Sags, I'm sorry I'm not there sitting next to you, but I'm waiting for my results too, so maybe better. But I'll see you this afternoon. I just wanted to say to everybody listening and yourself, I'm 56 years old and I consider you a hero. I, I remember when I first read this story, it reminded me of the first time I read Michael Phelps talk about mental health and I thought, demystifying this whole stupid thing is really how we take the power out of the room. You're one of the most incredible athletes I know. I'm just proud to know you, proud to call you my friend. Thank you. I. I don't know what to say. I mean, the feedback I've gotten is phenomenal. The support has been, it's been incredible. It's so easy to judge somebody based on how they look and how they handle themselves and how they talk. And you don't actually know the struggles that people go through. And I just know that it's like as human beings, we're so critical, both ourselves and others. And it's just like, we all need to be, like we're in this together. Like it's a hard, life is hard. And it's sometimes easy to forget that. Uh, let's switch gears a little bit to this tournament here. Um, we've got the pairings out, and tomorrow you will be teeing off the first two rounds with Anna Norquist and Annika Swartz. Yeah, so this is Annika's first LPGA start since 2008. She's, she basically stepped away from golf entirely, like didn't even play much recreational golf here at Nona. She got back into it because she turned 50 and the Senior Women's Open she's now eligible for, which is later this summer. Playing with her and Anna is going to be great. I do feel sorry for our caddies because we're going to speak Swedish, but... We're probably speaking a little Swedish here and there. You know, I've, both, I've seen them both grow up playing with Madeline and I think, you know, I, uh, I never got a chance to play with her. You know, we've spoken a few times, you know, her and her mom came, we sat down at Starbucks and she was firing away with questions about you know, caddy, sponsors, agents, you name it. So, you know, it's been nice to see them both do so well and for Madeleine to be, you know, the, the, you know, the defending champion is very cool. So, yeah, I'm excited about the pairing. I look forward to it. Do you typically enjoy the early week process? I hate it. I, hate it. I like to walk on the course, but I hate the rain. There's no point in telling lies about it. It's the worst part of caddying, really. I don't mind doing a practice round, but standing on the range, watching someone hitting balls or on the edge of the putting green, talking shit to the other caddies, it's boring. The beginning of the week is boring. So it's good to see you clean the clubs when you're away. <laughs> They're horrendous. I, I didn't do anything. And they have, hold on, have you seen the five yet? Uh, no. They have this, like the mat. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you're, you're ready. He also, he loves this pouch. <laughs> the, un the unlimited mess of the gloves. You never know when it's gonna rain. Oh, it's gonna rain so hard that we need more support gloves for the for the rain. Oh god. Is the range worse than the putting green? Yeah. Oh my god. No, but that's being honest, isn't it? Putting green is worse. Yes, it is worse, isn't it? Because then you like stand there. At least here, would, like, I actually do talk to you. Yeah. Sometimes. Oh, he left again. He does that somehow. He just like wanders off. And it's the awkward part, the awkward part is when I stand here and, I'm, and I start talking and he's not there. I have learned to like not open my mouth until I actually look around. What's your warm-up routine? Do you start with a certain club every time? 
I like I do hit I hit wedges actually. I hit wedges on a T. Why is that? Trying to control the flight and just making sure that I'll use this one that never breaks then. A lot of the time I tend to add too much spin off then the ball goes too high. So when I do have the tee, I take away all the friction with the ground. Oh, it just feels so good to be outside. I have the tendency to open up the, like, the face a bit too much and then just leaving it open. So then I have to stop my movement and just hit it. What kind of miss does that lead to? Short right and long left. I play a draw, yeah. like that's my natural shot. I play a draw, but sometimes when it starts a bit left, it's just bleh. One thing we talked about too, is trying to make sure the arms get a bit more in front of me so it doesn't get too tight. You look still jet lagged. Drop kick going off. <laughs> they go straight. At least they make the club dirty so he can he gets to do something. A couple more than I have to eat. I'm getting getting the shakes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to warn my pro am group that I just flew in, but it should be alright. It's just when you start like getting a bit dizzy and you're like, okay, it should be alright. Because normally, like if we travel. We would go to a place either Sunday night or Monday, and then you would have those first three days to recover. But I have no days because we start tomorrow. Where's the best food on tour? Ooh, uh, LA, always have good food. Anywhere where you're not paying for? Good. Caddy answer. <laughs> British, is good. British is normally good. He's horrendous with food. He's like, give me the most unhealthy thing. Who? Dude! You, you skipped all the green stuff. I love putting, and I, my thing is that I know for a fact my ball will always start online. It will never go offline. So it's all, it's either it's the speed or it's the read. Because I, I mean, when I was little, that's what all I practiced. So I sucked at like everything called speed. I'm like, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> at least it started online. How often do you call Shane and to help you read putts? Well. Since we haven't worked too long, I, I've had the discussion because I tend, sometimes I use my caddy as like my uh, my comfort blanket because I'm like, are you sure? Da, 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 da. So I'm trying this year to really be my own boss and just like, okay, this is, this is my decision. One out of many of two rocks. I used, no, I used to actually carry a big one. But they're tiny. I used to carry a big one uh, in college because it was so slow and I needed to like distract myself. So, but then my mom gave me a little one, so I just keep this one on there. I have done it in 30 seconds, the big one. Not anymore. I can't. Because it's all algorithms, right? So I can't remember some of the last ones. <laughs> you just got a YouTube. Oh, you That's cheating. No, you, you? no, you YouTube first how you learn and then you learn and then you do it. You will, you will never figure it out unless you know the algorithms to figure so it out. How do people figure it out before YouTube? Because they're smart. I'm not that smart. I just like YouTube. YouTube, right? The earth is flat. <laughs> the what? The earth is flat. That's where I found that out. Uh, but how do you feel about Pro-Am? I, I'm one of these people that love Pro-Ams. It's the whole reason why we can have a tournament. And I know some people see it as more as of a chore, but I see it as a, as a chance to just really give back to the people that give us so much, the people that make sure that I have a job. I think, it, I think we'll have a fine crew. I heard five words, which includes like three cuss words. <laughs> so we're doing nine, nine, which I think is actually, uh, it's a really good system that we've put in over the last year or so, because um, they get to play with two LPGA players and we can do a really good job for two and a half hours rather than five, because it, it is sometimes it gets exhausting to be social and talk. I'm taking over from Penilla today, so I'm assuming it's probably somebody local. We're here. <laughs> like it? Oh, this is it. M E L A, and then Malay. I, which is probably an E in Swedish. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. We can make it. And? An I, right? And? Mean island. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You can just say it right. C. Carrington. Carrington. C A. They actually. No. <laughs> These are actually their names. O. o. And. Oh yeah. Yep. See, it's the I E A. Those letters. Yeah. No. Like, no. 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 No, we like golf balls, and it's no, 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 so hard think. to write on a golf balls. It's like, sorry, I will not put. But your somebody name on says, there. "Can you write the name?" You're like, "No, please." No. As long as your name is Steve or Bill or John. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 So have fun. So yeah, thanks again. Thank that was awesome. awesome. We had a lot of fun. Just straight out towards that edge of the big tree. Look, it's like almost I've been here. Oh gosh. Love hitting this five iron into the first one. Do you remember their names? <laughs> it's over there. I don't really have any. That's the thing. I'm quite. That's really boring. I know it's a really, really boring answer. It, it's quite hard sometimes when you play with people that are not very good at golf. That's a nice worried way of putting it. That just. We're gonna win! And I was like, no, we gotta try to make contact with the ball. <laughs> Honestly, they never break. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get up fast enough. Uh -huh. I might have to lay up. It's like, I have no laying up on my back everywhere. And it's like, it really frustrates you sometimes when you have to lay up. Go for it. Well, well I might not be so able to see a far enough. personality is not a layup personality. Oh, no. 208. Front. Oh, where's the pin? And 218 pins behind the tree. I can get a firewood over that, can't I? Okay, finish there. Watch out. Wow. Okay. I think you heard the wind. They didn't kill that dude. We're good. So you think they need any help finding those balls? Uh, they probably do. You want to go and help? <laughs> <laughs> but uphill, it's going to go a little bit shorter, yeah. like a 30 carry. Yeah. No, 32. To get there, I think I have to hit a draw, so I might, I'm gonna start over the front. Not that. I think the line is in that little U in the trees. I had you a little bit left of that. I'm probably not swinging my fastest right now, but it's good enough. Normal 55 shot should be perfect, shouldn't it? Got it. Straight at it. The right thought, though, is just too much speed. Second. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. It's awesome to meet you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thank you, that was a lot of fun. It was fun. It's a pleasure to watch you hit nice a golf ball. That's you. you. I'll let you speak and I'll just be quiet and go probably uh huh. I've picked this here as our line. Mm -hmm. This little green bush. You're just trying to 
figure out what holes to be aggressive on and what holes to be a little bit more conservative. Unless it's blowing really strong, mm -hmm. it's going to be driver every day. Two, so your run out, there's a, this is grass, mm -hmm. longer grass in here. We have to hit driver off it because if you can get a good drive away, we can go for it. But it, and then if you're in, if you if it's too bad of a lie, you just lay up anyways. Exactly. Yeah. So we sit down every day and do that before we play. That's uh, that's always the game plan. Easy pace, eh? I think it was. Very I'll good give today. this back to you. No, I think it's good thinking about the circumstances. Okay. I, I'm thinking more in the two-hour mark warm-up just to make sure that it's yeah. like because I don't want to stress. I want to. I need to feel very calm. I feel like. It's a lot of good in the game, but it's not very consistent. So I think it's just a week that I really have to have be accepting and uh, just like accept that it's gonna be a grind on some holes, and then some holes are gonna be really easy. That's kind of that's kind of the sum of the day. Gonna go home. Jack, are you cooking? Well, I mean, that easy. My job is right? <laughs> Another day tomorrow. Another day tomorrow. Thanks. He looks he looks more tired than I do. <laughs> I'm 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 a busy boy. <laughs>
they want to display us in that way. Um, you gonna be nervous today? I mean, I think I've always been nervous in the first tee because you never really know where your game is at. I think it's it's not really going to be a nervous because I'm playing in the group that I am. It's more, it's that first tee nerves. I like that. It's like it's it, it's it's important to to me because it shows that it means a lot. So it's uh, I always want to do well, and I hope those nerves never go away. But I hope to ease quite quickly, maybe one two holes, and then just go for it from there. Seventy-two time LPGA winner and 10-time major champion and proud resident and member of Lake Nana, Annika Sorenstein. Symmetra Tour winner from Inkopping, Sweden, Madeleine Sagstrom. Sure, keep her right in it. Great drive, she had 218 in. Uh, looked like she was hitting her driving iron.
missed it left. I think they were trying to figure out where the ball crossed. Let me start with that one. What was it like playing for you? No, I literally just got the realization before we teed off. I'm like, holy crap, like, this is what everybody dreams about doing. Annika, can we talk? Oh, two. Yeah, can we take a photo? It was, I just feel really proud. You know, I feel really proud of my own journey to get to this point. I feel really proud of kind of the environment that we grew up in and just being, getting here. Her wedge game is so stupidly good to me, so I'm gonna uh, get some advice. Um, what, what impressed you most about her today? Oh, the stupid wedge she had on 14. Oh my God. I was like, because I was telling Shane too, I was like, okay, we need to hit this behind the hole because it's going to spin back. And I mean, I spin my, like, I mean, it's so far into the rough. I was like, great. And she does exactly what I visualize. I the thing is, I don't think people realize when you haven't played professional golf for 13 years, how hard it is to go out and play. Like, it's so hard. It's stupid. I want to be, I want to be like her when I grow up. <laughs> One to ten, how tired are you right now? Uh, twelve? Did you miss a thing? Like a hole in the head. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as bad as it looks, scores. Up. That's the issue, it's like, the thing is, it's been like that for, it's like, it's, you know, it's like when you feel like a bit stuck in that bubble, it's like, it's not that bad. No, today wasn't but bad. But the score is absolute Yeah, but that's shy. nothing to do with your golf today. You're tired. Anybody know anything like how you fight through tiredness? I would, I'm, I'm open for a suggestion. I, I want to figure out a protein shake situation, but I hate stevia more than anything. It's really hard because it's all nasty. I just wouldn't analyze too much now today, to be honest, with your game. I think your game wasn't bad today at all. I think if you're fresh in the morning, you're well capable of shooting four or five hundred tomorrow. 
even though that, that shot on 15 w was the lost, is, it wasn't a bad line. shot. I have to go for that line because I can't. If I, if well, I, you, so you don't want to aim more right than bail. That's just, that's just the, that's just the weak. Like, oh. oh, I don't trust my game enough. Like, I'm like, I have to go for that Thank line. You, sir. Just go home and have dinner and show. I hope the bed Jack's good. Yeah. Literally, I feel like toast. My legs are like. Oh yeah. This is somebody else's job. <laughs> What do you think we need today? Make a cut. Two, maybe three. Yeah. Chips. Chips. I. Yes. Did I have a chip on it? Yeah, that one. A little tired. My glutes are not on yet. play all four days. I really don't think we were far off yesterday, to no, be fair. Just... We, we weren't that far off, and it's just a little bit of rust, not played outside, and just... More tiredness than rust. I, I, I would agree with that. Do you ever focus on a number? Not really, because I feel like, like... I mean, I want to make birdie on every hole. Because I think that sometimes if I focus on numbers, I try to push it a bit too much. So I'm just trying to do the best I can of every situation. Like, okay, now we're here. What can we do from here? Thanks. Just trying to build momentum today, not stress it. Just continue to give ourselves chances. It's one of those things you have to have momentum and a little bit of like luck on your side, so to speak. So I'm hoping for that today. lost ball right into some thick uh, wooded area and made a triple. Other than that, seven pars and, and just rolled in a, a birdie here on 18. So two over for the day, seven over for the tournament. We're thinking I'll put my prognosticator hat on and I, I think we need a, a 32 on this on this second side to uh, to make the cut.
My mom, she said, wow, one of those. <laughs> In my mind, I've always been like, I love bunker shots. I, especially if it's hard, like a hard bunker shot is the best thing that I know. Like, cause I know it's like, you kind of only, you can't, you can't bail out, you have to go for it. But 14, obviously like, that was too extremely bad contact. Like it's healing. After that, we were kind of just like, focusing on every- I'm Committing to every shot. Committing to every shot, day. yeah. I had some really nice shots coming in. I mean, the one on eight, cause when I saw the pin on eight yesterday, I was like, this is gonna be impossible. You can't get there. I don't understand why the pin is there, but. And now it's like, uh huh, I am. <laughs> Very happy. I have to go pick up some groceries. Have a good one. You too. You had a good day. Had a good finish. Yes. How'd you wrap up your lunch there? I, uh, I was able to have a little quick chat with Annika. It's trying to get any piece of advice you can. I mean, it's, she's the greatest of all time. And she's like, she's, I think too now, like since she doesn't play full time, she's more in that, in that giving space too. Um, so it's really cool. Well, like, I always care about what opinions people have on my game and just like, do you think, kind of like, always like, do you think I'm good enough? You know, it's that, yeah. that one. She's like, I give you a 10 for your attitude. And I was like, that's, it's like when you get a triple, it, it hurts, you know, like a bogeys, you can deal with bogeys. Doubles suck because you have to make two birdies to make up for a double and they're just triple. It's like, that can be like that puncture wound. And it's just like, eh, I like just go straight downhill from there. But I was like, it's like, no, I'm not gonna do that to myself today. Like I'm going to keep fighting here and just like continue to go for it. And just trying to give myself some chances. It's like, it's like you're trying to catch your breath still. It was such a like, moment. I think I did a f double fist pump. Like, you know, like it was like that. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> yes, it's one of those. I think this is done. I hope you guys are ready for this. This is my specialty. What is it? It's a vegan lasagna. Ta-da. Cafe Madeline. Well, do you know what Cafe Madeline? Hold on, let me show you where Cafe Madeline comes from. Who cooks more meals? He cooks breakfast every morning. I cook dinner. That's why I linger. Like, I linger upstairs, so then I come down, there's a cup of coffee, and there's breakfast. Do you have assigned seats at the table? No. Anywhere? Anywhere. Anywhere. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you guys sleeping? New equipment. Woo! Got 95% recovery. I'm in the NFL too! You really? Yes! How are you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh. He took over. Actually, we start on 10. This play, we're starting on 10, aren't we? Do you get the same to the front on 14 as what I got? Off the forward tape? What did you get? 234, 237. So that would probably be a three wood then. Trying kind of where we were. Trying to get in where we were yesterday. In, in four yesterday. In four yesterday. Trying to do it in one today. What was the shot of the day? Shot of the day is definitely the five wood on 11, my second. I mean, that was, it looked really good from the start. And I mean, Randy said it was close to going <laughs> in, so.
bit deflated. Like energy levels weren't as high. It's kind of like that hungover golf, golf feeling, I guess. But it's still not that far off. I fought. I fought hard. Um, but we're trying. Like, we, like Shane said at lunch, it's like we're trying not not to look into it too much, just because of the preparations that I've done. But. Very average today. Very, very. <laughs> very average. change by the final round mentally no i just want to get my energy level up a, bit, a little bit i kind of want that feeling of wanting it a little bit more uh i'm gonna go home and rest and my body's feeling quite tired but just a little bit more hunger tomorrow and just go out and just whack it seven fairways 10 greens 30 putts I'm going to go put my compression socks on and probably do a bit of stretching, no physio today, uh, and then I'm going to start my new knitting project. What's the new project? I'm going to make a bigger pair of socks. I'm going to be self shit making for myself. Um, and then we'll see. We'll kind of build it up from there. Perfect. All right. See you guys tomorrow. See ya. New shoes? Fresh. No blisters? Should I bring the, I'll bring it. Just make, make sure Shane has some more to carry. Let me show is that, your, is that your version of the Tiger Sunday Red here? Never mind the Sunday Red, Sunday Green. Sunday Green. Oh yeah, every Sunday. Is it usually pretty lucky or no? Find out today, won't we? <laughs> Next on the tee, what's your final assessment of the week? It's like you. Will, I want to be critical, but I'm trying not to be because I know. I mean, I came in with, and also I don't want to make excuses because it's clearly not great. What uh, What needs to change? Do you think? I think I just need to sharpen it up. Like I was talking to Shane about just like, I, I just get a bit out of sync. Like my lower body just goes and I just need to kind of get the sink a bit better, um, hit the shots a bit better. Uh, putting is good. Short game wasn't great today, but putting is really solid. You like you want to play Sunday, but then you play like crap during the weekend. You're like, mm. but then you have to remind yourself like, I still play the weekend. Happy to get four rounds under my belt, even though I didn't play great. Um, it's pleased, but not satisfied. Um, 
not very happy where the game's at, but to do it to the circumstances of getting in Tuesday night, I mean, having been in the UK, hitting into a net for a week, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. I know she'll disagree with me, but... And honestly, I don't even know where I did it. It definitely hurt to stretch. Anything you would have done differently this week? Get here Sunday night. <laughs> Hopefully we didn't cost you any shots. Oh gosh, no, it was, honestly, I think maybe that bunker shot on Friday must have just been for the camera, you know? I don't want them to leave me, so you gotta do something here to play the weekend. <laughs> uh, what's the game plan next week, or what, what's your schedule going forward here? Uh, I'm going to the DMV in the morning. <laughs> I actually get to play practice rounds next week, so I'm doing practice round Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we start Thursday again, same circus. What's the thing that people don't realize about, about life out here, I guess? That it's more than just Thursday through Sunday. And it's more than just like, because it's easy, when you watch TV, you see the people that are up in the lead and that are shooting good scores. And it's like, I always tell, we always tell people, when you're out watching a golf tournament, watch the people that are on the cut line, because that's where you see the real grit. Like that's when you can see the difference of, am I gonna make a paycheck this week or am I not? All right, see you for the next one. Yes. Good Cheers! Stuff. Cheers! <laughs> Ready to go!